I appreciate all the fans I had. Hate me or love me. You watched. That's all you could do. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jobbers and Goons. And today, I'm doing a special on... Like, verses, I don't feel like either A, are acknowledged for being as strong as they are, or B, are stronger than people think outright, or C, should just be talked about more in the power scaling community for how powerful they are and the different things they bring to the table. If you guys are a fan of any of the verses that I mentioned throughout this video, smash the like button. We get the 300 likes, I'll do a part two to this. That would be awesome if you get there. And subscribe if you haven't already turn on the notification bell because I drop content daily but anyways getting back to this let's check out the 10 verses I have in mind I hope you guys enjoy without further ado let's begin so the first verse that I feel like should be talked about more uh, and is stronger than people think is in you Yasha uh, shout out to my boy GB did a really detailed scaling project on Inuyasha a few years ago and upon revisiting it checking out all the feats statements and all that I'm like yeah no, people don't talk about Inuyasha enough uh, it's an incredibly broken verse um, it actually does have some good scaling including up to universal multiversal extra dimensional shit um, plenty of things you can scale off of and uh, definitely deserves a bit more love uh, in the community Next, we have the Harry Potter verse. While, yes, I can be pretty, like, lenient on the community because the game did just come out. And, yes, the game does give ridiculous scaling updates, in including magic that casually moves around stars and such. But even before that, I do genuinely feel like a lot of people underestimated uh, Harry Potter verse oftentimes just thinking straight up characters don't have stats don't have speed don't have abilities worth shit like a lot of uh downplay of harry potter at least in my opinion and uh because it also got wild scaling ants recently i definitely felt like it deserved uh, the mention on the list next we have yu yu hakusho well yes this is one of the most iconic animes and mangas ever in the power scaling community in terms of how people scale it or generally or generally like regard it i feel like it doesn't give the love it deserves uh, i've worked oftentimes to like upgrade how people view the scaling of the verse i've dropped several videos on it and honestly i'm probably going to revisit it revamp it and drop some more because a lot of people sleep on uu and how strong it actually is and because of that um Despite people, you know, acknowledging it was a good series, the power scaling side doesn't get enough love. So I definitely got to fit it in here. I actually have a video coming out with uh, my buddy Roaring Thunder Pursuit or Rolling Thunder Pursuit. Something like that. I always fuck it up. But we're going to be collabing on Yusuke versus Meliodas. So definitely uh, anticipate that coming soon. Next, we have Hellboy verse. Now, I have not always carried the belief that hellboy and the verse itself was slept on the reason for that gonna be honest i hadn't really checked in on the comics and such and the lore behind it i hadn't given it really a deep dive uh, upon actually going through the omnibus uh thoroughly enjoying the hellboy story like they're just amazing stories i definitely encourage you to start at the beginning and just enjoy the ride of uh, hellboy's life because it's crazy and it's it's a pretty funny storytelling it's, it's just great overall but besides that on the power scaling side there's a lot of shit hellboy does there's a lot of shit he confronts in the comics that's absolutely broken outright extra dimensional beyond universes even multiverses time and space um and, and a whole bunch of crazy feats that include fighting the baba yaga uh and actually literally putting her on a t-shirt uh, forcing her to go sit on top of the Yidra cell things like that how strong his true form really is bunch of crazy things like hellboy slept on and uh I, I feel like he deserves a lot more love within the community next we have one piece yes i will admit i've been doing so many other things i haven't gotten past marine ford yet like i finished there and i haven't gotten past that but 
I will say, for One Piece, just reading up on how big One Piece is, um, as well as I have a video on that coming out soon. Um, it's it's often slapped on, I feel like, because people don't give proper attention to detail when it comes to how potentially large the One Piece world is. And um, I think this is what most likely leads to the downplay of everything within the verse. That's why I'm doing a video on the size of the One Piece first before I really start diving into other characters and such within One Piece. But yeah, I, I definitely feel like people will see after that video too that it's, it's a lot crazier than people think. Next is Star Wars. While we had a funny comment yesterday on the stream where someone said like, Star Wars scaling makes no sense, and I just thought that was a, a funny take because he was serious. I understand where he was coming from. Like legends can be confusing. Oftentimes, you don't know how one thing scales to another. Canon or the Lucas films might be completely different than what you're dealing with. It's a lot to take in. Completely understand the frustration. However, I am here to say that once you do deep dives into legends. Why, uh, when you read the comics, the old comics, like the Star Wars, um, uh, old comics they used to drop, uh, throughout, they had like four different publishers, it was crazy. There's a lot of lore out there that massively amps the scaling of the verse. And when you do deep dives, you discover this, and I feel like because of that, oftentimes it doesn't get the love and appreciation it deserves in power scaling. Uh, it's a lot more fun to power scale once you read more and more into legends and such and in my opinion is slept on next we have toriko while i have done a few videos on toriko especially on my other channel coffee shop comics um toriko is something that i i feel like doesn't get acknowledged enough for how strong it is it does have plenty of crazy arguments within it as the gourmet world and everything involved uh, has absurd scaling and goes to a ridiculous degree. Um, and, and I don't feel like that is explored enough or discussed enough. Um, it, it's hardly talked about in my opinion. And uh, I feel like with how wonky the verse is, how cool the hacks are, and how crazy the scaling could get, I definitely feel like Toriko should be used more often and celebrated more often in versus battles and power scaling. Next, we have the Elder Scrolls. While you guys know, I have often advocated for Elder Scrolls scaling on my channel and how absurd it can get. I don't feel like the general consensus has Elder Scrolls as high. I don't feel like they give the Dragonborn the credit he's due when you look at all the lore he obtains, uh, reaching his highest levels and potential. Like Elder Scrolls, its verse itself is insanely broken. And some of the matchups I see with the Dragonborn and the Dovahkiin, like all the characters they put against others, it's just, it feels like downplay, but I, I don't think it's hate. I think people just don't do deep dives on the lore because I will admit it, it does get kind of confusing. But yeah, I, I would say uh, Elder Scrolls is slept on and I think needs more love in the scaling verse. The next verse is Bleach. While Bleach is quite popular, plenty of channels cover it, some scale it, I don't feel like in general Bleach gets its proper recognition for how strong it is. In fact, I think it's horribly downplayed. I did a detailed Kenpachi video uh, not too long ago if y'all want to go check that out. And if you smash the like button and comment down below, maybe I'll bring Bleach more back to the channel in terms of the scaling sense. but. I've always, especially after I read it and then started doing uh, content on it, I immediately got weird like pushback, I got weird downplay, I got downplay like the strongest characters are maybe continental, multi-continental, like the hate boner for bleach scaling was a bit unreal. And so I definitely consider it a verse that is entirely slept on when it comes to power scaling. Now finally, and smash the like button if you've made it this far. We're going to talk about my number 10 on this list, Recreator. Now, Recreator is something I got into because uh, the homie Fran purchasing it. Shout out to Fran the Devil Man uh, if you're watching the video. And Recreator is one 
that has characters that are so absurdly broken, like Altair, that you're like, yo, when it comes to, like, characters that solo your verse and my verse beats your verse, why don't people talk about recreators more? That shit is so OD when it comes to stuff like fictional transcendences and weird hacks like that, that I genuinely don't get why it's not brought up more in terms of being one of the more broken out there. So, yeah. Definitely count recreators on your list. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want a part two for verses that are slept on for their power scaling, smash the like button. Let's get it to 300 likes, and I will do so. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you all later. Peace.